Tony's life is shattered in Invincible Iron Man issue 12. This issue saw the aftermath of what happened in Civil War and the Uncanny Inhumans uh, recently where Stark Tower was destroyed by Triton, a bunch of other Inhumans who kind of took what Medusa said about sort of breaking down Tony's life a little bit too literal, basically. Um, yeah, this was actually a really cool issue. Uh, it wasn't, you know, action heavy or anything. It was just Tony sort of sorting out his life, really, uh, up until that point. You know, he goes back to his company and says, like, look, you all, you know, did an amazing job while I was off you know away everyone's going to get bonuses but that doesn't you know make up for everything that happened while i was away all the stress and everything i caused and everything and yeah it was pretty cool seeing him sort of dealing with like the company people you don't get that a lot in iron man comics like it happens every now and then and when it does it, it can either be really good or really bad and it, it sometimes serves the story whereas this is just something that's happening around tony as you know he's dealing with avengers stuff and the civil war stuff stuff and everything he also goes and sees amana again and sort of thanks her and everything and he actually meets up with riri williams who is back in chicago and she's you know her suit's been damaged since the last time she used it it's kind of shattered her mother actually finds out what she's doing and then tony turns up and sort of talks to her about the suit and everything and how he's pretty amazed at what she was able to do and everything and i, I love how riri is basically like hey can you give me like an ai to help with the suit you know I it's kind of hard to control it when I'm doing that plus doing something else and everything and Tony says no and she's like oh well that's okay I'll just build my own I like that Tony sees another him in her and I guess he wants to try and sort of teach her and everything and sort of teach her what he knows and everything kind of like sees a lot of himself in her and everything she's like a tinker and everything and she's really young and like how he was and everything so he wants to sort of mentor her and everything and it makes me really interested to see where they're going to go with her solo book and whether Tony's going to just be taking that whole mentor role and kind of like a father figure to her should be really interesting the really interesting thing happened at the end of this comic where Tony he's the the comic book is sort of framed between these scenes of him having lunch at his destroyed building and everything and Victor Von Doom turns up and no one knows who he is because no one's really seen him and everything so like when Maria Hill sees him she's like holy shit that was Victor Von Doom what the hell and he and Tony sort of teleport away so I'm guessing he's going to go teleport away and sort of say like hey I can't be Iron Man anymore can you step up you've been huge help and everything lately uh, so yeah I'm really interested to see where this book's going to go. I know this book's kind of getting cancelled, then renumbered. It's really weird how they're doing this whole Marvel Now thing. But yeah, really intrigued to see Riri Williams as an Iron Man and Victor Von Doom as an Iron Man. I can't wait to see both of them. I'm going to give this book an 8 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching my latest video, I hope you enjoyed it. While you're here, why not check out another one of my reviews, like and subscribe my channel for more reviews and videos, and follow me on Twitter at Matt underscore FOS. Thanks guys, and I will see you all next time.